welcome to my Nitsi Japan and in today's video we are going to learn some numeric characters of Japanese language hope you guys will like today's video as we all know that uh, in our daily life we use different numbers which is based in the decimal number system which in Japanese is known as Jisinsu so, Jisinsu so it's a decimal number system and we know that in decimal system there are digits like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and we use uh, these numbers or these figures in combination with other uh, figure numbers and we make a whole new number. So in today's video we will be discussing different numbers and we will be discussing different figures in Japanese language. The first numeric character we are going to take is 0, which in Japanese is also known as Rei, sometimes also known as Maru, or sometimes also known as 0. Next we have is Ichi, which is also known as 1, and Ni, which is 2, San, San, which is three, yon, which is four, go, which is five, roku, which is six, nana, which is seven, hachi, which is eight, q, which is nine. In this way, in decimal number system or in the Jitsinsu or decimal number system, we have got this uh, basic 10 numeric figures or the characters and they are 0 or Rei, Maru or 0. Likewise, we have 1 which is Ichi, 2, Ni, 3, San. Yon, four, five, go, six, roku, seven, nana, eight, hachi, and lastly nine, which is q. So this makes a set of decimal numbers or the g sensu. Okay, we then use these uh, numbers, we uh, combine them and we can form another number. For example, we can create, for example, I like this number, 23, by combining this 2 and 3. So, uh, before this, we learned the 11 different numbers, or the characters, of the decimal number system, and they were Ichi, Ni, San, Yon, Ko, Roku, Nana, Hachi, Q, Ju. Or in English, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 10. And next, for 11, what we do is we just combine the 10 with the 1 and it will make 11. Likewise, for 12 it would be Jiu and Ni. For 13 it would be Jiu San. So in that way we can go on writing up to 100. So let me read it now. Jiu Jiu Ichi Jiu Ichi That's why it's 11. It's easier guys. Just need to pronounce uh, the respective name of the kanji is Jiu, kanji of Jiu, and it's kanji of Ni, so Jiu Ni, which makes 12. Likewise, Jiu San, 13, Jiu Yon, 14, Jiu Go, 15, Jiu Roku, 16, Jiu Nana, 17, Jiu Hachi, 18, Jiu Q. 19 and lastly Ni Jiu which makes 20 
So here, need you means 210. So here are two tens. So it means need you. So next, uh, after need you, you can again combine another kanji. For example, for 21, you will be combining the need you with the ichi. So it would make need you ichi. So it's 21. So in the same way for 22 or for example for uh, you want to make 25 at that time so 25 is need you go or what we do here is we just uh, combine the need you with the another kanji go which is 5 it's 5 so it makes need you go which is 25 so it goes on like this and after it reaches 29 which is ni jiu q which is 29 what you have now is just look here so in place of ni jiu now we write san jiu so it makes 30. If we remember the numbers in this way, it would be a lot more easier to do the calculations in Japanese. So uh, here I've taken the basis of 10 with additional numbers here. So this is Jiu which is 10, Niju which is 20, Sanju which is 30, and Yonju which is 40, Goju which is 50, Rokuji which is 60, Nanaji which is 70, Hachiji which is 80, and Yuji which is 90, and lastly, Aku is different, we write it with another kanji, Aku. So in this way you can count up to 100. That was it guys, I hope you guys uh, liked uh, the video and the content, and hope to see you in next video, till then, happy learning. Have a nice time.